Okay, today we're going to repair the crossed thread on the brake mounts of this trials bike. Having a look at the uh, mounts themselves, we know that the hole is 10mm deep. Now looking at our thread that's supplied, our tap I should say, that's supplied with our helicoil kit, uh, we can see that if I can get a focus, it is 20 mil usable thread length, and there's maybe 5 mil on the end of that, which uh, is just a chamfer which is used to lead into the thread. Okay, so knowing that our hole is 10 mil deep, the final will be only be able to put a helicoil of 5 mil into that hole, and we'd know we've reached the full depth of the, of the tap when 10 mil of the tap is exposed out of the hole. Okay, so I've got the tap started now. Uh, there's a little bit of metal filings down there which have come out from the uh, tapping process. You just need to use some sort of lubricating oil. WD-40 works good. Spray a little bit onto the surface. Now what you need to do is twist it in. This part's already been started, but you twist it in until you feel resistance. And then you need to back off half a turn. You need to do that all the way to the bottom until, until the uh, 10 mil of our tap is exposed, which we worked out before. What you also need to make sure is that you've got a good square edge on your tap. By doing this, I just run a straight edge along the two mounts. Uh, assuming this ruler is cut at a 90 degree angle, that is a straight tap. Okay, so just going again. Tap it in. Okay, we're reaching the area where a new thread is being formed. I've already done it before. Okay, so you can feel resistance, give it a good turn, back it off, and you'll see the metal filings coming out the top of the hole from the tap. Okay, we'll pause it here for a sec. When you uh, finish tapping the hole, you can see quite a bit of metal filings on the tap. Also, the hole has filings through there, and it's just a camera phone, this one, but there's a nice, clean thread in that hole. Okay, let's get on to doing the helicoil. Okay, so we'll go on to this uh, mount bracket here, which is center screen. This is the helicoil, which is like a threaded insert. There's a little tang on the bottom, which uh, goes across the diameter of the helicoil. That faces down in the hole, like so. Just need to get it started. Once it's started, you use this tool here, which is supplied with the kit, which has a little gap which goes down in onto the tang. This helicoil is inserted onto the thread. Uh, camera work. And it's inserted all the way down. Okay, so off the camera I've inserted that helicoil all the way down. The trick now is to break the tank which is down at the bottom. You might even be able to see that, I don't know how good the picture quality is on this camera, but the insert is there. Now we need to use the other tool which comes with the kit, which is just a punch. That sits in there. The helicoil is inserted about half a turn below the surface of the metal. Uh, trick is just to give it a good tap, uh, which I'll find a hammer. Okay, so broke the tang off the bottom of that helicoil. Find your appropriate 
M5 by 0.8 pitch threaded bolt which goes as part of the brakes. Just insert that in and it works fine. As you can see I've got a, got a hex key on that. It's just no resistance at all. It's a smooth fresh thread and yep no worries there that is a successful job done